just joined me. Hello. Hi. How's it going? It's going great. Good. It's Good. great, right? It's this. This is amazing. It's, it's like I've been telling everybody. It's like coming home. Oh. It's like as as a as a broadcaster. It's nice. It's like it's like it's like coming. It's like coming home. You know, you're seeing all the people that you that you love and the people that you've been been watching for for how many ever you know years. Yeah. And then you're coming to this place and these people. Some of these people that I've been watching for years, they've never been to a con either. I oh, know, really? like one of my favorite broadcasters, uh, Death Ridgecraft. He had never been to a con before. He's been broadcasting for three, three and a half years. Wow. And so, like, to see somebody like him, like, that I've never seen at PAX was... Yeah. And just... now there's finally this space that's, like, so specifically tailored. It's very yeah. cool. I, it's in... Uh, the way I describe... Uh, the way I describe TwitchCon is, like, everybody is so like-minded. Everybody is here for the same reason. So when you walk in the door, like I was describing it, I walked in the door when I first got here. Every, it was just chaos. Everybody's trying to get their passes. Yeah. It's will call is insane, and nobody was upset about it. Everybody was in line Ooh, waiting. Chill. Everybody was super chill because they're at TwitchCon. It's just exciting. This is TwitchCon. I'm gonna please for those at home who do not know your name and your channel oh, and what of course. you do. Uh, of course, where are my manners? <laughs> uh, my name is Alaskan Savage. You can call me Savage. I'm a full-time variety broadcaster. Uh, and host for Main Menu, the team Main Menu, here on Twitch, and uh, I, uh, I I play video games and make jokes. We told you we get cool people. Just, Wasn't lying. I just make funny jokes, and people sometimes like to come watch that. It's a great T-shirt. Thanks. Everywhere I'm repping my own brand. Yeah, no, so you got I, to. That's it. No, <laughs> it's just branding. I like the shirt. It's also a, just a good shirt. It's so just a nice you know. Shirt. So how did you get into streaming on Twitch? Well, I, I, it's it's kind of a it's kind of a crazy story. I'll make it a shorter the shorter <laughs> version. Uh, I I'm from Alaska. I live in Alaska, and I was a chef for many many years. And uh, I actually I actually worked up at an oil camp, like way up north, way up north in Alaska. This is already like a really great story. You don't have to shorten it. That's I, fine. I, I I worked up at an oil camp, and so I needed a VPN to get a virtual private network to get past the, the blocks on the internet so I could watch Twitch up there. And that's kind of where I started watching Twitch every day. I didn't have anybody to talk to. I was in the middle of nowhere. The, the, the job was boring. It was awful. I was up there for seven weeks at a time and then one week off. It's like it's like being in Antarctica. So yeah. I was watching Z Lady, Man vs. Game, Trevelyan, uh, all of these people that I idolize. And I watched, for, I watched them every day for six months up there, and they got me through some of the hardest days of my life of just not wanting to be up there. There's no escape except right. for Twitch. where are you gonna go? <laughs> yeah, there's no escape except for Twitch, and I know as corny as it sounds, like I, I, wanted to, I wanted to do that. I was like, this is what I wanna do. Like, I want to, maybe there's somebody out there that's going through the same thing I am, and I wanna make they, their day, you know, better. Yeah. I wanna make their life a little bit brighter. It does sound really corny, but that's what I wanted to do. You know what? It's been like a constant running theme, though, with everybody we've spoken to, that community, joining the community, giving back to the community, generating a sense of community, is like right. the unifying thread for every streamer that we've spoken with. Yeah. Like, Twitch seems to be such a valuable tool for connecting people and, like, creating a community out of the ether. Absolutely. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, you, so you said you are... You have a team thing, right? As well as your own thing. Yes. So how does the team thing work? So, about four months into broadcasting, about four months into broadcasting, I was asked to be—I uh, was asked to not to be on the team, but to do an interview because they were interested in, in uh, main menu was interested in, in having me on the team. And if you guys don't know what uh, Twitch teams are, it's just a group of people, individuals, like-minded individuals that want to change Twitch for the better, long story short. We want to do new things with developers, connect, that kind of thing. And uh, I was shocked because it had Cobalt Streak and Thundercast and Brotato, iCasper, all these, these big heavy hitters that I've been watching forever. And so I had the most intense interview I have ever had in my entire life, hosted like by Tomorag. It was like giving me the business, three hour <laughs> interview. And then they, they got me on the team. So what, what we do is main menu, we, we try to connect with developers. We try to, we try to bring, we try to bring uh, something more to Twitch than just broadcasting, just creating content. We're trying to uh, kind of, I don't know, like, uh, do just do things that people have never done before. Like, uh, developers, let developers know that we are more than just, we are more than just 
people that play video games tell jokes and you know sit in front of a camera. It's right. like we can help the industry. Like we're here to help you guys. You know, like yeah. I don't know. It's 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 a really really amazing experience. It's the it's the best thing that's really ever happened to me. Uh, for streaming, it's being, being becoming a part of Main Menu. Just an amazing, amazing group of individuals that everybody should definitely go follow. Follow all those Main Menu broadcasters. They are absolutely amazing. But uh, it's it's that's exactly it. It's just we're we're trying to, we're trying to be the definition of what a Twitch team should be. Okay. You know, because there's a lot of teams out there. There's a ton of teams out there that they're just groups of friends, which is okay. That's okay. Just a you know a conglomerate of just good friends. Uh, but we are a business. We are a business, you know. And there's only a few teams out there that, that treat it like a business. So one of the things we've been discussing with people is as Twitch gets bigger and is more recognized as being a really useful way for people to connect with games they love or with kind of whatever, an experience. Have you partnered with uh, any brands or any corporations outside of your group? And if you were going to, sort of, what do you feel like that would look like? Uh, well, I think that I think it's I think it's really important. I think it's really important. I, I mean, it's a lot of people calling it call it like selling out and stuff, but right. it, for streamers my size, you know, like a moderate size, it's, there's not a lot of money in the business, and I do it full time. It's it's nice to it's nice to be able to uh, kind of make make some extra you know ends meet, as well as giving your viewers a way to you know get a discount on something or whatever like through your link. It's just another way for them to support you. Like if you have your Amazon links, or right. what I have, uh, I, I'm, I'm a, a, I vape, so I have a Vaporfy link, or Vaporfy where they can get like a percentage off of their vape juice, and it gives it gives my, you know, if, if they don't want to subscribe, they don't have money to subscribe, but they, they're gonna buy vape juice anyway, they kind of, they get a discount, they can kind of like help out the stream, that kind of stuff. Sure. I mean, I really, I, I support, I, I definitely support those, those third parties that, that want to get with streamers because that's what they're 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 helping us in the long run, you know. Right. Like it's it's really really cool. Like uh, Green Man Gaming is another one, which is really great. Like it's super legit uh, a website that you can get great deals on video games. And people that are watching Twitch are going to be playing video games anyway. If you want to support their broadcaster, you know, buying a game through Green Man Gaming link, you know. Right. It seems like a nice symbiotic relationship where like if it's the right fit. Right. Then you promoting something and the your followers supporting you sure. through like going through with that promotion. Yeah. It seems like a nice way to connect gamers to things that they might actually want to use and have. Right, yeah. And it's and it's, you know, as a broadcaster, as a partner broadcaster, you can't just accept every offer that you're given because you get you get a lot of offers, a lot of emails. And so you do have to do your research. I don't want to partner up with a company that's going to, you know, in the long run hurt my viewers if right. they're not getting a good product or something like I'm partnered up with Design by Humans because their shirts are they're amazing. They're amazing. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm partnered up with Vaporfy because they their customer service is spot on. Green Man Gaming, the same thing. Like it, a lot of research goes into it. A lot of offers are given. I 95% of them are turned down because right. I just, it's not right for my channel. It's not right for my viewers. Especially when the relationship you have with your followers is a lot closer and kind of more intimate than a lot of celebrities or like fine stars or whoever have with theirs. Yeah, it seems like it's an important thing to maintain that sort of trust in that relationship. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's definitely a trust thing. I mean, I, I consider, it's, it sounds really cheesy, but I consider my, my viewers and my, my, the people that are, are huge supporters of me, like they are my friends. Yeah. And it's not like I'm gonna go over to like my buddy's house and be like, you should buy something from this website when they obviously <laughs> are garbage, you know? Like right. I'm not gonna do that to a friend. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, I'm super picky about that kind of stuff. But I'm all for it, those third party, you know, sponsorships and stuff. I think it's, it's only going to, it's only gonna help us grow, yeah. you know, in the long run as, as streamers, as Twitch as a whole being like affiliated with all these great companies. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's great. Thank you so much for the insight. We're so happy that you could join us. Oh, absolutely. It was my pleasure. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the TwitchCon. Oh, absolutely. And I'm sure I'll see you around on the floor.